People with high sex appeal tend to be more promiscuous. And I know this was like a duh statement, right? Water is wet, we get it. But this is sort of a deeper dive into how people with this type of personality trait, right? Promiscuous men and women, how their sex appeal is high because they know how to work it, right? Some some of them were born with it, right? Some of them were born with the physical looks and let's let's be quite honest here, right? It's not all physicality, okay? It isn't all physicality, but especially when we are talking about if men view women as sexy, uh, it, it does play a huge part of it um, with women too. Let's not get it twisted. Uh, women, they have eyes and they use them very well, I might add. So it's not just limited to men, right? But the way that these people um, use their sex appeal, it, it's it's they use it because they are their libido. You can you can say that their libido is a bit higher, right? It's it's more uh, it works a little more than the others, right? And promiscuous people, you know, they, you know, everywhere you, you look, you're like, don't judge a book by its cover and don't judge me because I'm wearing uh, a shirt, uh, you know, uh, some jeans that fit so tight that you can, you know, pretty much see all the nooks and crannies and crevices, you know, don't judge me. I'm just doing it for, for me. Right. We've, we've all heard that, but we all know that this is how they draw in their prey. (laughs) And these people, they know how to use their sex appeal, right? And not just the physicality part, but also their demeanor, okay? Physicality is a huge, I would say, me personally, now other content creators might differ, but I almost want to use like a 50-50 type of ratio. Now, I could, now someone might say I'm off. Okay, it's okay. Differences of opinion, but they use a combination. They know how to use their physical beauty, right? If it's a man, you know, usually it's a guy who works at, right? Usually people, usually men who have high sex appeal, right? Who are somewhat promiscuous. You're going to see that they have a somewhat decent body build. Okay. You're going to see that they have somewhat of a decent body build to a very good body build. On top of that, couple that with their personality. They just have a very sexual personality. It's kind of free flowing. You know, it's it's very charming. These guys are really charming the way they look at a chick. Right. You know, the way that they have their hair styled the way that they have their hair styled, the way that they look at a woman, the way that they just talk to her, everything is just very, the energy is there. And on top of that, they are going to be very suggestive, right? They're going to say things like, let's head back to my spot. Okay. They're going to make flirtatious comments. They're going to take it there. They're, they are going, they are very, they are, their libido is so high that The things that they say are just just come off flirtatious. That's what they mean it to be, right? That's what they want it to be. That's what they want it to come off as. They want it to come off as flirtatious. They want it to come off as sexually suggestive. So they'll take it there, right? They'll they'll have a a very flirtatious tone. They're gonna ask the young lady, hey, we should come, you should come out with me. We should go hang. We should get some drinks. Okay. And, a young, and these guys, right, I'm going to get to the, to the female aspect of it in a little bit, right? But it kind of correlates. It's hand in hand, right? I'm, I'm going to be going back and forth between male and female because, it, it, you know, it all correlates. But they're going to be very suggestive. They're going to ask her, hey, look, let's go out, right? And these guys, they can tell when a woman is into them. They can pick up on certain cues, right? They can pick up on how long the chick stares at them, right? They can pick up on how she smiles because like I said earlier, they have their physicality part on point. They have their physicality on part on point. You know, they walk with a certain swagger. They walk, they, they walk, even their walk is somewhat 
sexually suggestive, right? They have a very swagful walk, okay? <laughs> and this draws more women to him than the usual, than the usual average guy that his sex appeal is somewhat suppressed, somewhat low. He's not going to get as much attention as the guy with high sex appeal because that's it. The appeal is to have sex, pretty much, is to have sex. That's Or his objective, rather. His objective is that. So his everything that he does is going to kind of be very suggestive, right? So with that being said, he's going to know that a lot of young ladies, okay, more than the average, not every single one of them, of course, but more than the average, are going to be looking at him in that type of way, or at least the chicks that are also into that too, right? Promiscuous women as well. And I'm gonna get to that in a little bit, but he can pick up on cues. He can pick up how she looks at him. He could pick up how she stares, how she kind of smiles. You know, she don't even have to smile. Just a, he can tell from the slightest of glances that she is into him, right? And that she finds him appealing, okay? And he takes advantage of he He goes for it. He goes for it. Unlike the guy that's somewhat suppressed in his sex appeal or somewhat suppressed his libido, this guy is going to be a little more aggressive with it, okay? Now, flip it to the young lady that, that is promiscuous. Her sex appeal is through the roof. And as we all know, right? Let's just be honest, fellas. It's more not not saying that we can't use it because trust and believe men who do have sex appeal, promiscuous men, they they know how to work it. Right. And they be they be out here. They are out here and they are getting with young ladies. OK, but with all that being said, women just know how to use their appeal a little more. Right. You know, the young lady with the tight dress, OK, with the makeup. You know what I mean? With the very suggestive stare, very suggestive look. She's usually going to be very flirty, very receptive. Okay. And when I say receptive, I mean, when a guy is talking to her, she's going to be very open. She's going to be very smiley. She's going to be, uh, her body language is going to be extremely open. She's going to open herself to receive this man's energy. Okay. And you know, because she is inviting him. And I'm not saying that only promiscuous women do this, right? Of course, average women, of course, they like to, you know, partake in this too. But I'm talking about women that, that they, they use their sex appeal a little more than others, right? They're going to have the busty uh, front, okay? They're going to have the butt, the butt, they're going to be somewhat busty. And if they're not, they're going to use their you know, their booties. Okay. Some women have more booties than the front and they are going to make sure that it is accentuated. They're going to make sure that it is showing. Okay. And you know, some young ladies might claim that, Oh, it's just for me. It's not for attention. You know, uh, we we've heard this before. It's, it's whatever it's cool, right? Behind closed doors, we all know what's going on. Right. And you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but in general, in general, if you are dressing provocatively, right? Like I said, the young, the, as for men, if your, your physique is on point, you got your clothes a little more tighter, right? They, you know, they got hoochie daddy shorts. You showing off them legs, fellas, hoochie, by the way, hoochie daddy shorts are a real thing and females go fucking crazy for him. Believe me, you know, you don't got to believe me if you don't want to, but I'm telling you, <laughs> young ladies go crazy for fit men, right? Men with a, with a fit physique that got hoochie daddy shorts on. Don't believe me if you don't want to, just throwing, just throwing that out there, right? But, you know, he's going to have that suggestive clothing. He's going to, he's going to be showing his muscles, right? Summertime, that's his time to shine. Right. Same thing with the promiscuous young lady. Her clothes are going to be very revealing. You know, they're going to look like huh, they're going to look like they're painted on at times. OK, they're going to look like they're painted on at times. They're going to be like, damn, you know, and like I said, let me reiterate. Let me reiterate something. 
Just because a young lady dresses like that does not necessarily mean she's promiscuous. But there is a possibility, right? There is a possibility. Okay, because people with uh, high libidos, they tend to be they tend to be fit, right? Just from personal experience or they have some sort of uh, some sort of history with bodybuilding or staying in shape. And the reason why that they even get into working out and staying in shape is because they know biologically, they know naturally a fit physique is going to be sexually arousing. They know this and couple that, you know, the young lady, like I said, with her flirtatious vibe, her flirtatious, you know, talking, how open she is. You know, she's very uh, flirty, laughing all the time. And, you know, most of the time those people are promiscuous because they know how to use their <laughs> sex appeal physically, emotionally, and intelligently. Okay. So with that being said, you know, this was just an observation piece, just a little, just something for fun, for shits and giggles. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Peace.